Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a different kind of video for you. I have a haul video. I have recently made some purchases at Scrapbook.com and Tuesday morning and I know these videos aren't for everyone but I happen to really like seeing what other crafters are into. So I thought I would share with you the haul of some things that I have bought plus a new craft room tool that I received recently that I am loving and I happen to have a discount code for it that I can share with you at the end of the video. So let's get started. Okay, the first start of this haul that I wanna share with you is from Tuesday morning. They are starting to get in a lot of last year's scrapbook lines, if that makes sense. So with creativation happening, stores are starting to clear out some of the older lines to make room for the new lines that are coming in. So a lot of those products end up at Tuesday morning. So this is a great time of year to just be checking on a regular basis, especially if there's something specific you are looking for. But this is what I picked up. I have head in the clouds from Chamel. This is the ephemera set. I love the holographic elements and you can see right here what is included. Love the mermaids. This will be great for um, documenting stories with my daughter. She's all about magical and mermaid and all the things and I love the library card in there. Just some really nice elements for layering. Chamel has a very whimsical style so it's a lot of fun plus those florals. Seriously so pretty. So I picked up that and then this is from Dear Lizzie and it's her die cut shapes and I'm not sure what line this is but look at these sweet animals. I was kind of obsessed with them with this peace sign and then I'm so excited for these tags, large numbers. These are some larger pieces which are kind of fun to play with and to layer with so I think this is going to be a really fun set. I picked up this sticker sheet from Amy Tangerine from her most recent line and I just love Amy Tangerine stickers especially in my planner. They are bright and happy. I am loving the glitter on this Craft a Life You Love of course perfect with Amy. Little washi kind of sticker strips right here. These are great and I use them all the time in my planner. Good deal. $1.99. And then I picked up three sets of thickers. I used to never buy thickers because they added so much dimension and because I primarily work in a Bible and in a traveler's notebook, I just wasn't a fan of all the dimension. But now that I'm in a Bible that has spiral bound, I use them much more frequently and I even incorporate them into my memory keeping projects at times because a little bit of bulk is okay. It makes it fun, gives it some dimension. So I picked up these three sets of alphas. Love the colors in this one. And then I'm always looking for interesting fonts and I like how skinny these letters are. So they're taller but skinnier so you can fit a longer word like in a smaller amount of space which I happen to really like. So that is my haul from Tuesday morning, let me show you what I got from scrapbook.com. Okay, this is my most recent order from scrapbook.com and they are having fabulous giveaway deals in February. And right now I know that there are some different percentage off deals. Like I looked today and there was a 15% off. So make sure to check scrapbook.com. They are constantly having um, awesome deals and I, got excited and bought, um, you'll see, all the things. I had so much fun. So let me move some of this to the side. The first thing I bought were some Distress Oxide inks that I was missing. I'm hoping, I think, that this kind of completes my Distress Oxide collection. You can see I was missing a lot of these warmer colors right here. And Milled Lavender, one of my favorites. Um, so I'm excited, excited to use these. I love this color. I can't wait to try it out. So this I will swatch out and then this should complete my Distress Oxide collection, which is super exciting for me. And it makes me kind of just want to jump into my art journal. Along the lines of the Distress Oxide inks, I picked up these new blending tools from scrapbook.com. They have a, their foam. Let me open it here. Open one of them. So it's a foam applicator, but it has a dome to it. So I believe the idea is that you will have less edges that it'll blend a little bit smoother. So I'm excited to try these. I'm still looking for a really great 
blending tool. So if you have one that you love, where you can get a lot of color, a lot of saturation, but um, doesn't leave lines, I'm definitely interested in hearing about it. So let me know. I'm excited to try these. I bought a couple of different packs because they were on sale and I like being able to have them out and ready to go when I'm art journaling and not have to switch out the pads. If I like it a lot, I'll have to buy some more of the ink blending pads to match up with my Distress Oxides, which is what I use these most with. So that is kind of the ink blending line that I got. I picked up some, this is just a tape refill roll. I have been loving my ATG gun. If you have one, then I bet you agree with me. This is awesome. So the tape is a really good quality tape. It's easy to use. It's a little bit tricky to install the new tape, but once you've done it once, you'll be able to do it forever. And it is so much more affordable. So this will last me probably an entire month, about a month and it was $6. So $6 on adhesive for a whole month is fantastic when you do as many projects as I do. So you can see I already opened this one, loaded it up because I had a project last night. So love that, bought a refill for that. Um, let me show you this. So this is one of the freebies. Like I said, scrapbook.com has a bunch of freebie things that they have going on this month. And this one I was excited about. You know I love storage. I'm all about it. So this is a storage piece meant for Nouveau drops. Let me grab some of mine. So I believe the idea is you can store your Nouveau drops upside down, which is great. So all the ink is like ready to go. You can store them just like this. Then it stands up and you can see I'm trying to show you. You can see, you can still see the beautiful caps are all ready to go. Stands up just like that. Let me finish filling up this one. Putting these in. And then you're kind of ready to go with your Nouveau drops. So you can store them like this. They're all protected. Something else you can do though, to kind of add dimension to your storage if you're like me and you have all of the things, you can also use the top as an additional storage. So. You might use your most used colors in the back ready to go and then have your additional colors in the front. So you kind of have two storage bins or containers right here. They can stack on your desk. Let me show you. See, that looks really nice stacked up on your desk like that. So just versatile ways, but this was completely free, which is awesome. And I'm excited to give this storage piece a try. Okay, let me move that over. Now here is some more of the fun stuff that I got. Let me move this to the side. Okay, they also, like I said, it was all about the giveaways. February is like freebie month over at scrapbook.com. So they gave the day that I ordered, there was a Prima freebie. And this is the Prima freebie I received. And I am so excited. Look at these beautiful paper cut pieces. They're really soft. I'm not sure if it's totally about, look how that one's kind of, kind of flexible. It's really soft to the touch. Gorgeous greenery pieces. That would be awesome on a journaling page layered up. And then I love this piece right here. This will definitely make its way into an art journaling page for me, but look, and so this was completely free with my order. It is totally something that I will use and I'm super excited to give it a try. So that is the Prima flowers and I will link everything below if you're interested in seeing these products or trying them out. So that one again was completely free for me. Now the freebies rotate throughout the month. So when you go, it might not be the same freebie, but I'm sure it will be something awesome. I love Jane Davenport and if you've been watching my channel, you know I love Jane Davenport and she has a new stamp line that came out um, and I am so excited. It's with Spellbinders and it's her Whimsical line. Uh, let me think. Whimsical and Wild is what it is called. Whimsical and Wild and it has all of these animals. So I bought, I only bought five, I only, I only bought five of the stamp sets. I wanted to buy all of them. But look, so there's this one with the horse 
It's great for card making because it has sentiments like sending hugs, but it's also great for art journaling. I love the sketchy stars on this one, Never Stop Dreaming. And then this is just a beautiful image. I can see stamping this and kind of adding to it, adding the rest of the animal there or adding a beautiful flowing skirt. That's what I envision with this. With this one, my daughter loves elephants. She is obsessed, so I had to buy this one. I loved this um, sentiment. Unexpected friendships are the best ones. Sweet balloon. So excited to try these. This one is hugs. Look at that. Look at that sweet bear giving the hugs. It says, what a difference one person can make. I love Jane's crowns that she does crowns that she does um with the and says thank you for being you love this i'm super excited about all of these animals i think they're so cute i loved the sentiment for the giraffe giraffe wisdom stay above the drama stretch yourself stick your neck out enjoy the view and stand tall loved that and then i really liked this girl and her sassy attitude i'll be using that soon in an art journaling video and then this one I got is Jump for Joy. It has, I think that's a fox. I'm not sure what animal that is, actually. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you recognize it. But what I really loved was this girl and how she was leaping. I liked the motion there. So those are the new Jane Davenport stamp sets I got. I am already have the other ones on my wish list because I love her stamps. I love the whimsical feel and they are great for art journaling. So super excited about those. This is something I have been wanting for the longest time. It is the scrapbook.com wafer thin um, nested tags. And I have watched Lindsay over on Lindsay Decor use these. I've seen um, Heba from My Little Journal use these a lot. And I'm super pumped to finally have this set and be able to cut out tags of all different sizes, even this teeny tiny one. And it has um, these different bits in here so you can add the correct size hole with your tag. I'm just super excited. I've been wanting this forever. It was a really good sale and it was, um, you know, kind of meant to be. I'm excited that I got to pick it up. And then these are Dina Wakely pieces. So she has some new collage pieces coming out that I'm anxious to get my hands on, but to tide me over, I bought one of her old collage paper albums and you can see it's double-sided papers and really they're just great art starts so you can tear them up use them in your art journaling have them as a jumping off point if you are a card maker and you like kind of the mixed media look but you are a little bit scared to get oh i love the circles you might be a little bit scared to jump into the mixed media world these are some great pieces that you can use and the cool thing about this is that the papers are different weights so here in the front it's a little bit thinner a little bit easier to use as collage paper and then in the back is thicker cardstock so if you are using them for cards or if you want them to be a standalone piece they can totally be used like that so excited to play with that and kind of invigorate my art journaling a little bit and then I saw this and I thought it was going to be super fun this is printed tissue paper so these are background starters for you to use and I would imagine you would put them down with matte gel medium things like that let me just pull out one of the it's for real it's tissue paper you can use them the same way you use like the napkin technique they can layer over things so let me pull this so you can layer over and you're still going to get some of that image coming through once you put them on your page you can add paint over the top and because of the black that's there it will still come through on the pattern so these are great for, like I said, art journal starters. I was all about the art journaling for this particular order. So you can see, I, it's a big haul. It was a big order. I've, I've been waiting and adding things to my cart and waiting and waiting. And so I caught a really good deal. I'm really excited about the freebies that I got with my order. And that is my scrapbook.com order. Let me show you one last thing that is new in my craft room. Okay, the newest tool in my craft room is 
this super cute trash can. So this is from a shop called Lots of Style and they sent this to me to check it out to see if it would be useful in my space and it definitely is. It comes, it has a little hanger you can see on the back. So it fits on most drawers. I have an Ikea desk and I have tried it on all of the doors and drawers and it fits anywhere which is awesome because I'm able to easily move it if I need it in a different space if I want to just put it over here for a different purpose. Um, it comes with some bags that you um, can use that fit perfectly if you want to use it as a trash can. You can also just use it as an additional storage piece. This would hang really nicely off one of the craft carts that um, are on the market and you could hold some larger supplies in there, which would be fabulous and kind of extend the life of your craft cart. I am using mine as a trash can, so I just have it up here most of the time and then when I'm filming or doing projects I can just brush off those small bits and pieces straight into the trash can which is really awesome. Mine came as a solid white. I do believe they also have a mint green color and I like that I got the white because I was able to jazz it up with some stickers. Those are from Heart by CC and I love 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 them. They're bright and colorful and um, just really inspiring when you walk in the craft I will room. link this trash can below and lots of style was awesome enough to offer a discount code. So if you use the code 30 scrappy, you will get 30% off of your order. Check it out. Thank you for joining me for this haul video. I usually don't share haul videos, but this month I had a particularly large haul and I was super excited about trying several new products. So I thought I would jump on over here and share it with you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. All the products are linked below as well as a link to an email newsletter that I send out every couple of weeks with craft tips, organization hacks, and anything you might want to know about what's going on in the scrappy wife world. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, keep it creative.